The bell rings, are you ready, are you sure? For music trivia, three rounds in store. It's head to head, who's going to war? Are you ready to settle the score? I said, are you ready to settle the score? Hey, hey, welcome into another week of Settle the Source. All right, I got a text right when that was starting from my wife and uh, got slightly distracted. <laughs> nice. Welcome into Settle the Score. I'm your host, Matt Nose, joined each and every week by the musical director, Mr. Andy Merriweather, getting over a bout of food poisoning. How are you, friend? Yeah, I have recovered just today, um, just in time. Did you think there was a second verse to the intro? <laughs> I was, well, it was just ending and she sent down something uh, that I have to respond to after we get off. And I was like, oh, okay. I just got lost in thought on something else. But I'm present. How dare you? I no, am no, present. good for you. No, I'm yeah, aware. so I, yeah, I went to the NFL game, the Jets, Falcons, the, you know, the UK version. Oh, good. Oh. And, uh, and I mean, it was our only game that we get. Um, but uh yeah i must have eaten something pretty horrible because um yeah it really wiped me out for a few days so i, I just recovered today if i'm a little bit shinier that'll be why i'm not just excited about how how fun our guests are coming on um but yeah oh that's helping the shininess for sure oh it's, it's certainly 60 percent of it <laughs> yeah but yeah um, well i'm glad you're over it i haven't had you. fucking food poisoning in a while and uh you know it's not fun everybody's had it uh no it's, good it's not good it's not good uh but I'm glad you made it out the other side. And, I know. Uh, I'm glad we're recording halfway through the week instead of on the usual Monday. That, would, well, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't have been good at all. You wouldn't have made it. We would have had to reschedule. So thankfully that all worked out. Um, yeah, you guys get screwed on the game every year. It's always two dog shit teams playing <sighs> over there. So I hope you enjoyed the game. Um, I can't imagine. Eh, it's better than nothing, I guess. It, I, I spent the entire game, as you can imagine, answering the question, what just happened with Anna, you know? <laughs> yeah. And uh, Why I know they stop I, so much. Yeah, right. And uh, I know <laughs> American football very well, but occasionally, and I'm, you know, in this kind of toxic masculinity of mine, I would, she'd say, like, oh, what happened? And they might have thrown a flag on. And I'd be like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> you know, just don't know how to answer that question. I have no idea. We'll have to well, wait. Well, sometimes you need the explanation because you didn't sure, see yeah. what exactly. Uh, television helps with that immensely, but even still, there are times when the camera's not on whatever is getting flagged. So, yeah, yeah, and I don't, I don't know every arcane rule either. I know, and I've watched my whole life. Deep, so, yeah, yeah, uh, things pop up. But let's go ahead and jump into today's show. Before we get to it, though, really quickly, next week is going to be the fan show. So we are going to do the drawing the day after you listen or watch this. So if you'd like to be a part of it. You have uh, three ways to join us on next week's show. You can like and retweet the tweet that I put out each week. Uh, you can leave a comment over at youtube.com forward slash Matt Nost. Or if you come up with a name for the mas mascot rather that we both love, you'll be automatically entered into it. <clears throat> and if you don't have YouTube or Twitter, you can email the show your name at settle the score show at Gmail. Uh, but once again, get all those in by Friday morning. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing our drawing. We'll be reaching out that day. So stay tuned. Can't wait to see the fans on next week's show. And we are going to bring in today's guests right now. First up, she's a lover of cats. <laughs> Loves them. Whether it's the musical, the movie, she's a huge fan of. One of the few people that I know. And the actual you know, cat, the feline itself. The one and only Miss Sasha Pearl Raver. Hello, gentlemen. <sighs> Give it to me. Yes. Yeah, it's her. Living for it. Oh. The rowdy screening of that movie at Alma Draft House was one of the peak experiences of my life. <laughs> there were some... edibles involved. <laughs> <laughs> there needs to be a lot of things. I think there were edibles involved in that production. Oh, for sure. I still want to see the butthole cut. Where's the butthole yeah. cut? Where is the butthole cut? Are we doing cats or are we doing cats? What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's part of the makeup of every cat is check out my asshole. Hello, it's their primary function. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Andy, I'm so sorry that you had food poisoning. Just the butthole thing reminded me. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, speaking of, we were just talking about cats. I don't understand. Well, buttholes, food poisoning. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm still trying well, to come so up with a name for the mascot. I'm like, notes, no, 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 no,
I'll get that. People have done that. People have done the notes notes thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Well, Sasha, you are facing off against longtime friend, one of the co-hosts of the Good People Association, and a man that has played this game and won it before, the one and only Mr. Mark Riley. How are you, Mark? Hi, everybody. I'm so glad to be here, but I'm so sorry that I missed the cats conversation <laughs> previous. Uh, I'm a big cats fan. Uh uh, the musical is fantastic. I'm also looking forward to the butthole cut of cats. There we are. Okay. <laughs> the theme are. for the buttholes. Yep, yep, yep. yep. <laughs> if they release that, I'll finally watch it. Otherwise, I, I'm good. I, yeah, I will too. I haven't watched actually the abomination. I've heard many things. I've seen enough in the trailers. It's awesome. only good if you go in knowing it's total crap. You're going to be yeah. either drunk or high. And when Skibble Shanks gets his whole gay life tap dancing across the railroad tracks, you're just going to go with it. You just got to go with it. Hey, you know, I hear Cats is the reason Andrew Lloyd Webber got a uh, dog finally. I know. So, I love uh, that. <laughs> you know, Cats, dogs, I, it's, it's the circle is now complete. I've never <laughs> seen the, the musical and the fact that there's a ca character named Skibble Shanks. Yeah. You, I, yeah. You, could, you could just make up names at this point. Oh, for, for sure. No, the whole yeah. thing is just garbage. And I saw it live uh, at the uh, Pantages, and it was just like this fetid fever dream. It was so horrible. And the worst part was, at one point, all of the actors dressed in their cat costumes came down and started monologuing really intensely, like at the audience. I have never been so uncomfortable in of my course, life. Of course. <laughs> but this was this acting kid's dream. He's so oh, yeah. jazzed for this. <laughs> oh. I'm going to monologue in spandex. Oh, oh fuck <sighs> yeah. My parents in the audience, I'm going to blow them away. Watch this. Be <laughs> like, oh, my God. I am questioning every decision we did raising this child. Uh, well, I will hold off seeing cats a little bit longer, uh, but I do know memories, which is not on today's show. Damn it. Missed opportunity. <laughs> yeah, it's one. okay. Mark Riley is going to sweep the floor with me. I am already I fully agree. aware of it. I am so excited to watch him do it. I'm no. just going to be a fan on this show. I'm going to be like, go Mark. What is it? What's the answer? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. It's a little early for this taping for me. What time is it? Oh, it's noon. Oh, Never mind. Jesus. What did you do last night? <laughs> oh no. You know, just uh, maybe a uh, half a bottle of wine you know, uh, another bottle of wine. I don't know. It's, it, it all blurs <laughs> together sometimes. Was the half the split and then she was done and you're like, mom, I'm going to crack this other bottle. I might I'm gonna I, try this. That sounds about right. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> well, it's already open. You can't let it go to waste. Yeah, you know, it's like you let yeah. it breathe and, you know, and so you can't let it breathe too long. Well, those are those I, recapping uh, things with the nitrogen. They never work. You know, it's never no. the same. No, that's why do that. Yeah. So exactly. sometimes, sometimes I wake up, you know, my time, UK time, and uh, I see Riley um, twitching on, on, you know, playing video games and stuff. I'm like, that is a good night. What a good night he's had. Like, <laughs> yeah, it yeah. must be like four, four in the morning for you, I guess, when I'm up. Some, yeah, yeah. I've been known to do that. Yeah. Sometimes it's just like, you know what? I'm just going to play Friday the 13th and uh, drink yeah, some wine yeah. on Twitch. Why not? Fun. Why not? Great fun. <laughs> sure. Why not? Uh, is there a big Twitch crowd for Friday the 13th? I've never played that game. No, don't have a big following on Twitch. So, you know, there's like three people in me. So who gives yeah. a shit, right? Why That's not? why you can be drunk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're drunk yeah. enjoying yourself. Who cares? Who cares? Yeah. It's therapeutic, everybody. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You have very you have very loyal uh, fans and, and supporters. And, and obviously, you know, I say hi on my way to work. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's always nice to see people on the other side of the world saying like, <laughs> Good morning, Riley. Morning. What are you doing? It's like, I'm doing it's my your business, Merryweather. It's is is Saturday the sixteenth <laughs> or whatever, fourteenth. Yeah. I remember that happened with my dad and I a couple of times when I was in college. Came home for breaks, and the bars let out super late, and I come home yeah. just wasted. And he's getting up to go work out at five in the morning, and I'm like, "Hey, Dad. Oh. Hey, <laughs> I'm just going to bed. Did you drive? <laughs> yes, I did." <laughs> Go Perfect. to bed. It was a different time, kids. It was a different yes, it time. Was. Um, all right. Are you guys ready to start today's show? Let's go. Oh, ready yeah. than ever. Ready. Yes. Perfect. All right. So in this opening round, Mark, you will have first choice, one through five. Okay. The way it works is you'll make your selection, and then I will give a clue. 
And Andy will begin playing. And if you think you know the movie that that song is from, uh, just buzz in with your name and you're guessing the movie itself. It's worth 10 points. And there is a bonus question after that, but we'll come to the rules of the bonus question when we get to it. So, Mark, opening selection is yours, one through five. It's worth 10 points. Where would you like to start, sir? Let's start with uh, three. All right. Number three it is. Good luck to you both. Your first clue is, are we there yet? Are we there yet? And don't forget. Okay, oh, I was just going to say, buzz in with your name once you think you know the movies uh, that it's from. I found out long ago. Riley. Riley. Vacation. Uh, that is National correct. Lampoon's vacation. I'd give it to you on straight vacation. Okay. Uh, I'm over here thinking about Ice Cube movies. I'm like, what Ice Cube song? <laughs> That's not NWA. Like, I thought it was going to be straight out of Compton. I went to a whole different place. <laughs> That's how my brain was working. Well, sometimes it happens. <laughs> Just so you know, we're never going to give the title or any of the words of the movie in a clue. Of course. Uh, well, I still, people... that's just where, no, but I thought I was like, okay, so it's, are we there yet? An ice cube movie. Yeah. So maybe it's going to be a different ice cube project. So I was thinking about Friday movies. I was thinking about maybe in a uh, straight out of Compton. That's just smart. where my brain went. It's, it's smart. It's it's smart. Right that's way. good. That a good line of thinking. I got uh, it. I didn't get it right. Riley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at least you're paying attention to the clue. We have had other guests be like, I don't listen to the clue at all. And be like, well, it kind of helps. <laughs> but, it it uh, does help. Um, all right. So Riley bonus question time. Uh, you have a choice. You can go it alone. It's worth five points, but if you get it wrong, you will lose five points. Otherwise you can open it up to both you and Sasha. No one will lose any points, but obviously she can cut into your 10 to nothing lead. Sure. So my question to you is, do you want to be a dick or not? Open it up. I won't know the answer. No, let's see. Yeah. yeah let's open it up. It's the first question. Uh, let's keep it. Let's keep it going. Sure. <laughs> sure. Let's keep it collaborative, right. you know? Some of these are easy. Some of these are hard. Here's your first one. It's open to both of you. So buzz in with your name if you think you know the answer first. The fictitious theme park in the movie Wally World was actually filmed at what park in Valencia, California? Riley. Riley. Magic Mountain. That is correct for five points. Nice job, dude. It's a good, it's a good theme park. Colossus. They rode Colossus. Oh, but is I that what they rode? But oh. I think Colossus is no longer there. I think it burned down years ago. Oh, Doesn't that okay. happen? I did, did, I, did I make uh, that up? I've been there once. Yeah. It was it was all right. Uh, all right, Mark, you still have control. One, two, four, or five. Where would you like to go next? Uh, five. Five it is. I like that little delivery there. <laughs> five. <laughs> um. All right. Your clue is... Rags to riches. Rags to riches. Sasha. Okay. It's okay. Annie. <laughs> it is not. Well, how about we listen to the music? I went there too, Sasha. I was like waiting. I'm like, I'm like if, if the sun will come out tomorrow is up here. I'm done. It, yeah. Um, all right. You both can still guess. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. He's taking total pity on me. <laughs> No, I'm trying to keep the game fun. It's not pity. Right, let's yeah. go. Let's go, Andy. Is the piano not coming through again? No. No. How weird. The, Hold on one second. It slightly. It's the, yeah. yeah. I broke the piano with my bad guess. <laughs> you did not. You did Piano's not. like, F okay. that. Okay. There we go. Sasha, 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 it's get high like baby, get fly like planes. And da, 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 da. Uh -huh. I got Jesus in my name. I'm gonna come around here. I can make my eight points. Yes, Good. but what movie is that from? The clue is Rags to Riches. Fart in my mouth. Hold on. <laughs> Rags to Riches. It's from uh, it's from Slumdog Millionaire. It is from Slumdog Millionaire for 10 points. See, I gave you extra. I forgot that I just had to say the name of the movie. <laughs> That's okay. You knew it and you had a little dance. You knew, you knew about 40% of the lyrics, which is about 10% more Ooh. than I know. Yep. Uh, <laughs> see? Pretty good. I um, hope there's an Annie song later, though. 
<laughs> As you can tell, I like musicals. <laughs> okay. uh, all right, Sasha, bonus question time. Uh, do you want to be a dick or not? Open it up. Uh, open it up. It is. All right. It's Big open time. to both of you. This was the feature fa uh, film debut of what two actors? Slumdog Millionaire was the feature film debut of what two actors? This is just sexism right here because I only know his name. I think you'll know the other once you hear it. You're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm mad at myself. Well, nobody can lose any points if you want to venture a guess. It's fine. Why can't a feature film debut? Either you do want to make a, I mean, a I go with this? One. Exactly. Can we get half points for both knowing Dev Patel? Yeah, Dev Patel <laughs> and what was her name? I this is so horrifying. Um, I'll, I'll do this. I'll give you the initials. FP. Sasha. Sasha. No, no, damn it! Don't. <laughs> Never mind. Go back to Riley. <laughs> I want to know what your guess was. It's the... Frida, but I don't remember the last. It's Frida Pinto. Ha! Like the bean. Like the bean. <laughs> there it is. It is a tie ball game, fifteen points apiece. This is, uh, this is so was, sloppy. I love it. There was a moment. There was a moment there where Sasha buzzed in and then did this as if hiding herself from the yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't look at me. Uh, yeah, don't look at me. It's just me in my white space. I'm in John Oliver's studio. You can't yeah. see me. I'm just. Yeah. I'm white too. It's just don't make, uh, don't look. All right, oh, so tie ball game, fifteen <laughs> points apiece. Sasha, you now have control. We have one, two, or four. Where would you like? To We're go number one. We're number one. You want number one? <laughs> yes, please. Number one, it uh, is. Uh, your clue is escaping the rat race. Escaping the rat race. Mm -mm -mm. Another clue. White collar thuggin. White collar thuggin. And escaping the rat race. Sasha. Sasha. Falling down. That is incorrect. Shit. Incorrect. <laughs> uh, Riley. Riley. My blue heaven. <gasps> that is incorrect. It's a great movie, though. It's incorrect. Nothing? All right. Uh, that is from Office Space. Oh. Wow. Okay. He's like sitting in the car in the beginning. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Uh, it has yeah. horns in it that get the high notes that might trigger it for you if you heard it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I missed that. Yeah. That's all right. Bonus question that is open to both of you. What item was Steven Root's character, Milton, desperate? Sasha. To Sasha. Sasha. Mm -hmm. The stapler, bro. That is correct. That is worth five points. I love how I was trying to buzz in with your name, Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> like, Sasha. You have pieces of flair, too. I know you have pieces of flair, too. Yeah, where is my flair? Um, all right. So, Sasha, you still maintain control since you got the last uh, question correct. So, two or four, where would you like to go next? Four. Four. It is. Your clue is... Terminal love. Terminal love. Oh, oh, God. Wait in line till your time. Ticking clock. Everyone. 
and stop Everyone saying different things to me Different things to me Everyone saying different things to me Different things to me Do you believe Riley, what Riley. You see? The Fault in Our Stars That is incorrect it's great. Mm -hmm. I love that song. I don't, I'm trying to think what movie used it. It's such a banger. Andy, just keep singing because I like your voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Motionless wheel. Nothing is real. I'm wasting my time in the waiting line. Do you believe in what you see? Sasha, do you have a guess? After that, I'll give another clue, and then the guessing will be open to both of you if she doesn't get it right. One more clue. One more clue. Well, okay, okay. Then I can just do uh, yeah. uh, 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 Terminal Love. It's going to be uh, – no, 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 do another clue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Second get clue there. is – Get there. First one is Terminal Love. The next one is New Jersey, New Beginnings. Sasha Gili. That is incorrect. <laughs> Just thinking about movies right. that are in Terminal Love, New Jersey, New Beginnings. New Jersey, New Beginnings. <laughs> that song is so good. <sighs> All right, give you one more clue. Yeah. The terminal Love, New Jersey, New Beginnings, and finally, Departure Call. Either of the two of you, I'm getting two furrowed brows. Yeah. You said that the name couldn't be in the title. Is, is it? Is That's it correct. the terminal? No, the name will not be in the clue. Well, poop. <laughs> <laughs> New Jersey, New Beginnings, Terminal Love and Departure Call. So it's something at Newark Airport. There's a scene at an airport. They're running for each other. They're sad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hey, I mean, you know, yes. They're New Jersey, New Love. New Jersey, New Love? What the hell is that? Terminal Love. It's something at an airport. Departure Call. Mm -hmm. Doesn't all take place in an airport. It is no, I'm just that an scene. It ends in a lot of movies end in an airport. The, with, with a clue like New Jersey, New Beginnings. Yeah, I know New Jersey. That narrows the the. Scope I know. Of I'm, trying I'm just to... going through Kevin Smith's oeuvre. Um, <laughs> <I know. laughs> I don't know, but I love that song. Either the two of you want to venture one last guess. Otherwise, I am going to tell you the answer. Uh, okay, I'll t I'll venture a guess. Almost famous. That is incorrect. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I know. Garden State. Oh. Garden yeah. State. Yeah. Lame. Yeah. <laughs> Not lame movie. Lame that we didn't get it. Um, yeah. All right. Bonus question is open to both of you. Here it is. Peter Sarsgaard's character of Mark collects memorabilia cards from what American war? This is probably the hardest bonus of the first round. Sasha. Sasha. Korean? Nope. Mm. Riley. Riley. Civil War. No. <laughs> Operation Desert Storm. Mm. Operation I think there Desert would be Storm. Cards from the Civil War. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. You say exactly. Collect all your yeah. favorite generals. Oh, yeah. I got a Sherman. You live in a time, you know. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you can't get rid of that Robert E. Lee. Oh, I can't burn that thing. No, no. True story. Uh, I have a Michael Jackson thriller jacket that I can't wear and yeah. I can't get rid of. But yeah. I also refuse to sell because I don't want to make money off of his legacy. But yeah. it just like sits there. And I'm just like, ah, oh, what do I do with this thing? But I also don't want to give it to someone because then I'm like, well, 
I don't know. If somebody in the comments really wants a Michael Jackson thriller jacket and they're in Los Angeles, maybe they can let Matt or Andy yeah. know and I will gift yeah. it to you. But then Go that's on you. That's on you. I can't I can't yeah. be responsible for what happens when you wear it down the street. Yeah. <laughs> I think most people just be like, oh, nice jacket. And they're not going to yeah. make the association. Sure. Uh, I don't know. You can cut the sleeves off or something. <laughs> bitch and jacket, cut. man. Yeah. Bitch and oh, vest. It's a bitch and vest that doesn't have sleeves. <laughs> cool, bro. Yeah. Sleeveless thriller jacket is uh, Mike McFly's gilet, isn't it? <laughs> kind of. Yeah. yeah it's, little bit, it's not as puffy. But <laughs> yeah, well, it's a tour yeah. jacket. It just has like the tour name. Oh, back. it's not like oh, no. If it was like the red leather, leather, then you can just rock yeah. that out oh, anyway. Right. That's just a yeah. red leather coat, man. That's just you know, that's just style. Uh, so this is like a tour comment. jacket. So well, it's advertised. It says like Michael Jackson, and it was like sponsored by Pepsi. And I'm like, yeah, and they burned his hair off. Like <laughs> it's just a whole. It's a can of worms that I can't get into for that's a fashion choice. Uh, that sucks because that's a that's a hell of an item. Um. All right, we have one question left in this opening round. And here is your final clue. Uh, we will say City of Cars. City of Cars. Who knows? I felt it Tasha. from the first. It's La La Land. It is La La Land. I could have gone with falling down for that one too, though. I just really want falling down. <laughs> you got that on the brain today. Oh. Why can't I get breakfast at 11 or what? Ten or one, whatever. If you pull an Uzi out right now, oh, <laughs> I can't get rid of this either. All right, Mike. All right. <laughs> just give her her breakfast. We know yeah. it's past 10 a.m. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, that, that puts Sasha in the lead at 30 to 15 as of right now. Nice. Bonus question is that. yours, Sasha. Uh, do you want to be a dick or not? You have nope. no choice. Nope. I don't ever want to be a dick. All it's right. Around. It's open to both of you. Um, here it is. The final bonus question of the opening round. La La Land has the distinction of receiving the most nominations for film and not winning Best Picture. How many nominations did it receive? And I'll give it to you if you're within two. Sasha. Sasha. 11. All right. Mark, you want to guess? I'm going to say nine. You are both incorrect. It was 14. Oh, poo. Oh, I was going to go 14. 12. I should have gone the other way. <laughs> you got to you gotta do it. You got to do the prices right. You just go one over. I know. I just... One dollar. <laughs> um, all right. Well, that ends the first round. It's 30 to 15 in uh, Sasha's favor. See, Sasha? Not for long. See? Not for long. See? Now. I know you, Riley. Got a bunch of I my you. blind spots with that Garden State and Slum Dog. Okay, all right. I see your game here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was intentional. We scrolled through your letterbox and your 4 a.m. twitches when you were drunk, <laughs> rambling about movies. Mm -hmm. What does he never talk about? Well, Slum Dogs never come up. Ever. That Slum Dog. <laughs> yeah. La La Land. That City of Stars song is a real banger. <laughs> 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 uh that's the most bitterness i think uh <laughs> i've heard when that conjunction uh, with that song yeah I, I that song i i really despise and i should have known it it, it right there but okay. i think i blocked it out i hate that song um, it won best song at the academy awards and i'm like over moana i think moana is just you know that was moana good. Uh, yeah, exactly. yeah, but it's it's kind of like there's a Disney movie every two years that's it's pretty true. much going to win one. So True, true. Spread the wealth. Yeah, Academy is trying to spread it around a little bit. All right. Yeah. They knew they were going to give it to Moonlight, so they had to give them a song. Give them yeah. some. True, true. Um, all right, so second round. This is the five-second round. The way this works is, um, so Mark, you'll be selecting first, one through five okay. once again, and I'll give a clue. Andy will play the opening five seconds. If you think you know the answer in the first five seconds, it's worth 10 points. If we have to go to the second five seconds of music, it is only worth five points. And you only get one guess per question in this round. Okay. So, Mark, your choice, one through five, where would you like to start first? Three, please. Three, it is. Your clue is in the habit of things. In the habit of things. Uh, 
Nothing you can do Dasha. Riley. Dasha. Sister Act. That is correct for 10 <laughs> points. She beat you by about a half second, Riley. I know. And I was muted because of my lawn guy. <laughs> She's operating from a deficit here. She's yeah, she's <laughs> she's got all kinds of things coming at her. <laughs> uh, I like it's a self-inflicted wound. I like this one. <laughs> uh, all right, Sasha, you have control now. One, two, four, or five. What would you like? Five. Five. It is your clue. Is runaway bride. Runaway bride. I'll get you medicine when your tummy Riley. Aches. Riley. The wedding singer. That is correct for 10 points. And that takes it to 40 to 25 in Sasha's favor. Riley, you have control. You have numbers one, two, or four. What would you like? Uh, let's go with two. Two, it is. Your clue is one wonders one wonders you don't mean to be cruel you never even knew about the riley. oh i actually do not know riley <laughs> <laughs> what if we say it at the same time and then we both get it if we both are right all right, fine, fine, sure. I'll give you 10 points apiece on this. Say three, two, one, and we'll both say it at the same time. Okay, fine. Three, okay. two, one. 10 things Nothing I hate about you. Nothing you do. Okay. Riley is correct for 10 <laughs> points. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is my favorite moment. My favorite moment ever. That was unbelievable. What? <laughs> Oh, the confidence you had be like we both got it <laughs> I wait hold on hold i've on. been going through because i try and try, try those 10 thing. things i hate about you <laughs> nope no, you I'm that wasn't it because i try no just to yeah, get just you girl because it's just so hard to do, do. do. Ooh, doing that thing to do. That thing you do. I want to fact check. That was, um, <laughs> that's got to go in that. Up? I'll, I'll fucking look it up that's, right That's got to go in your clip, your your special clip reel uh, when, you're, right. when you do a. <laughs> thought, the best moments wow. from Settle the Score. <laughs> Watch Sasha's confidence evaporate <laughs> instantaneously. <laughs> That was fantastic. You can actually pause uh, the video. <laughs> yeah, you can right yeah, like, here. Exactly. The Simpsons. You can see his heart break. break oh, right. Oh, that made me so happy. That made me so happy. I don't care that I got it wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I just looked through IMDb's listing for 10 Things I Hate About You. That song is not listed on the soundtrack. I'd have been shocked. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I feel like I feel like symphonically there's there's similar songs. Sure, sure. But you could say that about a lot of music. So. <laughs> oh god, that was okay, good. Uh all right, yeah. Mark, you got the points and you closed the gap. It is now 40 to 35. Nice. Uh, we have two left uh, in this second round. One or four. Where would you like to go next? Uh, <laughs> uh, let's go one. One it is. Um <laughs> I can only hear that thing you do in my head now. Yeah. All right, your clue for number one is <laughs> Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Mr. Sandman, I'm so alone. Riley. Riley. Halloween? That is incorrect. Mm. That is incorrect. Sasha, I mean, well, you don't have to, you can hear the second five seconds, but then it's only worth five points. So well, you, I'm just thinking like, what movie hasn't that been in? What are my, Dr. Strange is the, is clue. the clue. Do I so get a what, second clue? What I can do is if you want to take a guess now, and if you get it wrong, I'll give a second clue, but then you both can guess again. Nah, wait, second clue, both get to guess either way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you get one guess right now, free of charge. 
Doctor Strange, Sandman, Mr. Sandman, bring me a da da da. What are what are what are movies with strange doctors? Um, uh, it's from Dracula. Is okay. No, <laughs> <laughs> just give me another clue, bro. <laughs> bro, bro, I got broed. Uh, all right, bro. Just give me another right. clue, bro. Your second clue. First one was Doctor Strange. Your next one is Meet the Parents. Meet the Parents. Riley. Riley. Back to the Future. That is correct for 10 oh, points. Bro. Actually, 10 things That's... I hear about the future. Doctor Strange. Yeah, for old Doc Brown. Doc oh Brown. Yeah. For some uh, reason I was putting, yeah. And I think it was Halloween 2 they brought that Sandman one in. Anyways. Oh, everybody knows that, Mark. Yeah, everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. Um, Halloween, that soundtrack, that that theme, just I hear it. And it's like, I went yeah. to the, I was at the premiere last night and they had fake Michael Myers standing around and it was terrifying. But they didn't play the song. They had like pop music playing, thank God, because if it had been the theme. Yes. You're going to die. Good We're all going to die. That's it. Not. Bro. Bro. All good day. Uh, all right. With that, Mark, you take a five point lead, 45 to 40. We have one final song of the second round. It better be from 10 things I hate about you. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> Just so you know, it is not. Uh, your clue is happy feet. Happy feet. You're just too good. To no, I'm joking. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> Been working so hard, been punching my car. Riley, Riley, foot loose. That is correct oh, for damn. 10 points. Good one, Riley. And Riley takes a 55 to 40 nice. lead as of right now. Blanked um, in the speed round. It's, it's all right, though. You came up with one of the more memorable moments we've had, especially in the second <laughs> round. It takes the cake. Yeah, that, the cake. That, that wins everything. You, uh, you win automatically. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hope you impart that kind of confidence to your child. Because that <laughs> is a thing of beauty. Whenever you're wrong, you just stand in it and you be confident in, in it. Off the rookie. Are we fucking ready? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> you ready for this? Ten things I hate about you. Bam. No, uh, <laughs> Frito, we don't like the bean. Peace. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, all right, so we're going into the third and final round. This is the betting round. So, uh, Mark, <laughs> since you're in first place, you open this one, and the way it works is you'll choose one through five. I will give a clue again, and then you will open the bidding with the number of notes you think you can guess the song in. And once again, you're still guessing the movie. Um, Three notes is the minimum opening bid. The max is how many ever you'd like it to be. We've had people say 100 notes. They just want to hear the song, so be it. Um, three notes and above, it's worth 10 points. Two notes, 15. One note, 20. And zero notes, if you want to guess just on the context clue, it's worth 25 points. Okay. If you get it wrong, your opponent gets the points. And then finally, you have a lifeline that you can use one time to get an extra context clue. But once again, you can only use that once. So, Mark, you have choice. One through five. Where would you like to start? Three. Three it is. Your clue is for richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. How many notes would you like to start with? Mr. Mark Riley, three is the minimum. The max is how many ever you'd like it to be. Uh, let's go with 10. 10. All right, Sasha, over to you. Nine or fewer, or tell him to settle the score. Settle the score. Settle the score on 10 notes. All right. Uh, if Mark gets it wrong, Sasha, you get the points. Your clue again is for richer, for poorer. And don't forget, you do have that lifeline that you can only use once. love story that is correct for 10 points nice job buddy nice job loves me never to say you're sorry 
right. Right, isn't that? Sometimes. Yes. Mm-hmm. I've never seen it. I don't know. That's all uh, you need to know. That's the only scene that matters. Yeah, that's that, that's all I know. I've never seen it. <laughs> yeah. Either. Yeah. Um, all right, Mark, you maintain control. You have a sixty-five to forty lead, Sasha. You can still win this game. Uh, but your choice, Mark, one, two, four, or five? Uh, five. Five it is. Your clue is separating fact from fantasy. Separating fact from fantasy. And I can't guess, right? Only he you, can guess. Well, after the bidding, yes, we go through the bidding, and then if he tells you to settle the score, you'll be guessing. Okay. So, Mark, uh, how many notes would you like to open with? I'll go with 10 again. 10? All right. Sasha, over to you. Nine notes or fewer, or tell him to settle the score. Settle the score. Settle the score on 10 notes again. All right. I think he's working out the 10 notes. Here we go. Lifeline. Lifeline. All right. The first one was separating fact from fantasy. Your second clue is full mental jacket. Full mental jacket. Sasha. So you can't guess, Sasha. Oh, if, damn he, it. if he gets it wrong, you get the point. Oh, okay. But I want to guess because I think I know. Okay, fine. Well, if he gets uh, it wrong, well, you can still guess, but you'll get the... uh one flew over the cuckoo's nest. That is incorrect. Mm. That is incorrect. Sasha, what's your guess? Is it eternal sunshine? It is not eternal sunshine. Nothing. Uh, that is from Shutter Island. Oh, Shutter Island. Yeah. Uh, all right. Points go to Sasha. It is sixty-five to fifty in Mark's favor, which means Sasha, you now have choice since you got the points on the last one. One, two, or four. Two, please. Two. It is your clue. Is cruising on two wheels. Oh, cruising on two wheels. And I will, for the first time ever, say this is a tough one. We've oh. never given a warning on the third round, but this I one don't is know. Tough. I enjoy the movie Rad quite a bit. <laughs> no, <laughs> is that where you had that Michael Jackson uh, jacket? <laughs> <laughs> you had your BMX just out, ah, bro, went around LA. <laughs> Bro, I mean, come on. That bike dance scene is one of like, mwah. if it's not that, I'm bummed. Um, I'm going to use a delightful 15 notes. All right, 15 to get notes. Get this wrong. Riley, over to you. 14 <laughs> notes or fewer. Tell her to settle the score. So that's a tough one, huh? All right, let's uh, let's uh, set, settle the score, Sasha. All right, Sasha, you have 15 notes. You do have a lifeline. Your clue is cruising around on two wheels. Cruising around on two wheels. And don't forget about your lifeline. He is counting out the 15 notes right now. Here we go. Lifeline. Lifeline it is. <laughs> uh, your lifeline is Viet Tom. Viet Tom. Cruising around on two wheels and Viet Tom. Born on the 4th of July? That is correct for <laughs> Whoa. Did you guys see him, by the way, at the Darian Stoddard game? No. no. 
it was shocking. Like he was up on screen and my husband and I are like, that's not Tom Cruise. Is that Tom Cruise? And after like 10, 15 seconds, they finally put a Chiron up and they're like, Tom Cruise taking the game. He looks so utterly unlike himself. I was like, oh my really? God, is he okay? Yeah. Like I'm a little worried about him. Does he look more like Tig Notaro? Because that's what he's been slowly looking like over the past couple of years. <laughs> he, it, it was just like, I don't know. I Maybe he's just getting faffy and enjoying life, not making a mission I, movie, but it was just so shocking. Like, because it looks so not like it. Well, him. he's what, 60 at this point? Uh -huh. yeah. All those stunts are going to catch up with him sooner or later. Oh Eventually. Um, all right. Well, Sasha, you got the points on that. It is 65 to 60 in Mark's favor. Hot. But Sasha, you do have control now and you have choice of number one or number four. What would you like? Four, please. Four it is. Your clue is Jack Frost. Jack Frost. How many notes would you like to start the bidding with Sasha? I like 15. 15 worked last time. All right, 15. Riley, over to you. 14 or fewer. Tell her to settle the score. Uh, let's do, I can do it in 12. Yeah, you can. 12. Sasha, back over to you. 11 or fewer. Tell him to settle the score. Settle the score, bro. All right. <laughs> On 12 notes. Once again, your clue is Jack Frost. Jack Frost. That would be the shining. That is all right. Wait, I thought I had the wait. You you told him to settle the score. Oh, so God. I settled it, Sasha. Oh, I was yeah. waiting because yeah. I thought I had oh, Jesus. <laughs> no. I don't get rules. Rules are hard for me. <laughs> That's all right. It's fine. So it is there's one question left. It is 75 to 60 as of right now. So Mark will open the bidding after I give the clue. Sasha is a heads up. If you want to tie, you need to guess in two notes. If you want to win, you need to guess in either one or zero. Okay. Um, so, Mark, you'll be opening the bidding. Your clue is been there, run that. Been there, run that. How many notes would you like to open the bidding with, Mr. Riley? Three is the minimum. Mm, I'll go with five. All right, Sasha, what would you like to do? Two. Two. All right, Riley. <laughs> Settle the score. Settle the score. All right, to tie the game, two notes. You do not have a lifeline. It is what? Been there. Oh, the whole reason I did that was because we had another lifeline. Nope, you have one Rolls. and you used it on Born Bart. on the Fourth of July. Dang. <laughs> uh, so your two notes. Sasha, Sasha, Sasha! It is chariots of fire. It is chariots of fire. <laughs> we got a tie game. Woo! It's been a while since we've had a tie game. Wow. Um, um, I literally thought this game was going to be 150 to zero. So the fact that I'm even kind of here with Riley just makes me very happy. You're well, crushing right now. No, nope, I'm drunk right now. Well, <laughs> I'm still drunk from last night when I was playing twist with you. Yeah. <sighs> um, all right. So the, the way the, 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 this, this comes down to one song. Andy is choosing whatever he wants to play right now. And oh. as soon as you think, you know, it <laughs> buzz in, he yeah. will tell you if you're right or wrong, because, I think this is the third tie we've ever had. And nice. Once I didn't know the answer. So oh, don't whoa. look at me for, uh, and we're I'm, I'm playing blind right now along with the two of you. You don't know? Well, what nope. if you, hold on, wait, the new rule. What if you know before we know and you jump in and then we all win? <laughs> I, I think we all win no matter what, Sasha. True. That's we, we all won with that 10 things I hate about you. <laughs> yes. So let's, let's call a spade a spade here. Uh, all right. So once again, Andy's just going to begin playing. If you think you know the movie that this is from, jump in. It could be a score. It could be a soundtrack song. Don't have the slightest clue. Yeah, uh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Skin I don't know if he's going to wait into any one person's favor. Railway cat, the cat on the railway train. Da, da, da. Is that the actual song? or is just Oh, yeah. About no, no, no. It's the actual song. And like 
the whole thing, you know, is just something that's based on um, not E.E. E. Cummings, but like the writings of a, a writer who was like, you know, sip and scissor and getting completely drunk and just was writing about cats that he loved. Um, what, Bukowski? Did he write about cats? I don't remember. No, but Skimble Shanks. <laughs> but... Skimble Shanks slaps that song. I don't care what you say. That song is got to get up and dance. If it was really good, I would know it like memories. And I know memories. Don't know what that well because it's called memory. <laughs> okay. well, what, yeah, exactly, and that's memory. the most known. <laughs> okay, he's ready. All right, Andy. Okay, yeah. Wait, Just, time out. Yeah. First thing I thought of. We can both buzz in by saying our names. All Correct. three of you, in fact, and I will. Yeah, and, and it's just we're <laughs> we're only saying the movie. You're only saying the movie. Okay. No idea what it's from. Good luck. Okay. Okay. Riley. It's Beauty and the Beast. It yep. is. Nice job. Good Mark job, Riley. dude. Nice <laughs> job. Wow. Um, After that Matt talked smack about Disney movies. God, I uh, love Beauty and the Beast. That's a good movie. It's a good movie. Oh, and that was a great game. Down that to the finish. That was a C, Sasha. That was that awesome. Crushed. You crushed. I'm People sure chicken little this that. every week that have never played and be like, I'm going to be terrible. Yep. I'm here to have fun and be like, yep. you're not going to be terrible. <laughs> we want you to do well. We're going to try and choose movies. We think, you know, listen, as long as somebody goes out and watches falling down after watching this, I want to watch falling down right now. We've yeah. all won. That's we all that matters. One. <clears throat> Is you know, I, I can't recommend that movie. It's, it's okay. <laughs> It's okay. okay. As long as somebody goes out and watches 10 Things I Hate About You <laughs> yeah, and you finds the song that musically matches up. I uh, What I need is I need a matchup of 10 Things I Hate About You. It's the finale song. It's it's the whatever, it's what, like letters from Cleo with doing that thing you do. Okay. Well, yeah. now I've got to go and listen to the end of that and yeah. see how close you are. I might it be was wrong. the only hit they had. It was a one hit wonder. So. Uh Leo Needers. And Leo Needers. <laughs> please, if you're in Los Angeles, you can see Sasha going around in her, her sweet BMX bike. Bro, and everybody in Jackson <laughs> West jacket. Hollywood with his her satin Michael Jackson jacket. It's a thing of beauty. Bro. Bro. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. Pew, pew. Pachoo, pachoo. Uh, well, thank you so much to both of you for joining us today. This was a lot of fun. This was super fun. Was thank awesome. you, guys. This is thank awesome. You. Um, all right. Well, before we get out of here, uh, Sasha, would, do you like to, to plug anything? Let the people know about, uh, oh, the biggest your... thing I got going on isn't coming out until Christmas, but, uh, if anybody wants to follow me, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Sasha Pearl Raver. Um, and I, uh, have just been sitting in a hidey hole, writing a bunch of stuff. And I have a Christmas movie that's going to be coming out. I, I don't know if it's going to be on Paramount plus on Paramount on MTV. It's going to be somewhere. If Viacom bought it, I don't know. But I have a that's Christmas awesome. movie that's coming out that I wrote that I'm very excited about and hopefully will turn out well. Congratulations. Thanks, man. That's awesome, Sasha. I didn't know that. Congrats. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I will say the great heartbreak of that movie was I fought like hell for this one song and it didn't make the cut. Damn and, it. Well, it's was Viacom's it CBS. <laughs> Yeah. I should have had Andy come in and play it. Uh, Viacom, they were like, we own MTV. We can get any song you want. And I wanted this one song. And they were like, ooh, that particular singer is problematic. You can't have that song. Except I was like, that one. Yeah. Interesting. It's like, it's not R. Kelly. Come what on. Did you want, Gary Glitter? <laughs> like, what, what problematic singer are you going after? Not R. Kelly. But yeah. Not, okay. yeah. So it ended up with a different song in the finale. And they made me change the name of the bar. The bar was called Tequila Mockingbird. Oh. <laughs> they said I couldn't have it. I had to change it to something else. So I think it's called like On the Rocks now. But what whatever. But that's Parker coming out. Lee's Christmas. family too litigious and they wouldn't yeah. allow you to do it? I don't know. I thought it was really cool, but they said Yeah, no. it's a good name. It's a good Thank name. You. All right. Uh, are you allowed to say the title is so people it's can be called on the Let's Get Married. M-E-R-R-I-E-D. Nice. Okay. Let's get married. Look for it on any Viacom owned Paramount. It's going to be somewhere. <laughs> somewhere <laughs> coming out of Christmas. I don't know when. I don't know where, but it's happening. <laughs> and nice. follow her at Sasha Pearl Raver. It'll be in the, the comments, the description of, of the show itself. You can find it down there. Uh, Mark, what about you, sir? What would you like to plug? Let the people know about. 
Yeah, just uh, follow me on Twitter, at Rally Around. You get all my updates there. But the GPA.fun, that's our website at the Good People Association. But our Kickstarter, we funded our game, Futility, the actual game of living. We have funded it right now. If you go to Kickstarter, search Futility, the actual game of living, we are getting on to our stretch goals now. So the stretch goals is where the fun begins. So let's get that. We're getting more stretch goals. We have 16 days left uh, as of the taping today. So whenever this airs. Okay, it comes uh, out tomorrow. Tomorrow, all right. So 15 days to go. We can do this. Days. Let's do this. It's a Kickstarter and it's futility, the actual game of living. So check it out. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Right, well, cool. Hit him up there and you can follow him at Riley around and get all that information there. I'm sure he's got links up on his Twitter. I sure uh, do. For futility, the actual game of life. Yeah. <laughs> did I just get that right? Okay. I futility, the actual game of living. We can't say life maybe because of that other game. Oh, really? <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. We're trying to be, you know. Astarious. Yeah, it's probably. I guess. I don't know. Uh, it's not futility with the name of the game. It's not like it's life. Futility. Yeah, you'll find yeah. it. Futility of the game. Use that hashtag on Twitter. You'll find us. All right. Well, please hit him up uh, on Twitter or go over to his Kickstarter. Be on the lookout for Thank Let's you. Get Married. M E R R. Don't forget that E. And uh, you can follow Andy at STS underscore Andy M. Another amazing week, sir. Oh, thank right. you. I'm just glad I got through it without vomiting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Andy. <laughs> Mark and I have that effect on people. <laughs> we do. We do. I'm so proud of you for making it through. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, you know what? I would take vomiting over the trots any day of the week. <laughs> uh, personally. No. But that just me. Uh. I'm team trots. No way, man. Team That's... trots. <laughs> team trots over team spew for sure. There's your hashtags for this week's show. Which one are you, <laughs> Team Trots or Team Spew? When it comes to food poisoning, I am Team Spew. Trots. Uh, no way. Mark, what are you? Oh, God, I'm none of the above. Get me out of here, please. That's <laughs> disgusting. I've had it. Uh, Hell, trot, that's what we're trot, all thinking while it's trots, happening. Trots, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Andy, you're so talented, and I'm so glad that you were here. I'm feeling better. Yeah, man. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm a fan of you both. So I Crushing as on. always, dude. Um, Cheers. All right, well, yeah, follow Andy at STS underscore Andy M. And don't forget, uh, Fan Show Drawing is tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. You can follow me anywhere at Matt Nose. That is it for this week's Settle the Score. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next week with a brand new show. Until then, adios.